Have you seen this before? Screw is a simple machine that looks like a nail but with ridges. The ridges on a screw are called thread. It is a type of inclined plane. Screws can be very small or very big. A hammer pushes a nail into wood. Your fingers can push a pin into the fabric. But you cannot push screw into the material. Instead, you have to turn it to push inside. Thread on a screw pulls the screw into the material. The material can be wood or metal, plastic or even concrete. Jar with a twist on lid is like a screw. You can turn it with your hand. Some screws need a special tool called a screwdriver to turn them. A screw seems to have many threads, but it really has just one thread. Let us understand it with this activity. Let us cut this paper into a triangle. Mark the long border with a thick red line. We will take this wooden stick or kebab stick and paste it to the paper. Now wrap the triangle tightly around a wooden stick. Tape the end with glue. Red lines around the stick appear like the ridges or threads on the screw. The distance between these two lines is called pitch. One colored line looks like many lines wrapped around a pencil. Now you know that it is only one thread even if it looks like more than one. You can try variations by changing the size of the triangle as well as thickness by using different objects like pencil or cycle spoke. Observe the various thread patterns as a result of these variations. Can you try all these variations on one spoke and compare all in one place? The neck of this jar has just one thread as well. You can feel it by moving your fingers along the thread all the way from bottom to the top. The neck of the jar is a screw. Jar's lid turns easily on the screw. You cannot push it though. The lid fits tightly on the neck of the jar. Does screwing on the lid take longer than pushing? Why is it like that? Thread is the reason it takes longer to screw the lid. Sometimes working longer get the job done in a better way. Let us check this out with an activity. These are two erasers. I can push nails in both the erasers so that I can hold these together. It is not possible to easily insert screw in the eraser. I will use a screwdriver for the same. Now try to separate these two erasers. I can do it easily with the ones which are fixed with nail. It is difficult for the ones fixed with screw. The thread is holding the two erasers tightly. Screws are much better at holding things instead of nails. Let us fill these two steel containers with ground nuts. Lid of one container has threads. We need to turn it like this to close it. Lid of another container can be closed by just pressing it. What will happen if I drop these containers on the ground? Due to impact, nuts came out of the container for which the lid was closed by just pressing it. Lid of the other container remained intact. Screws are good at holding things tightly. Now a question for you. I have to fix this door with hinges. Which one should I use? nail or screw. These door hinges are fixed in place with the help of screws. Screws are much better at holding things instead of nails. Some screws can be used to lift things up like this automobile jack. We can even lift water. Screws can be of different shapes for use with different materials. Screw conveyor is used for transporting grains. It is mostly used for moving dry material around. Some screws can move materials and make huge holes in earth. Screws can also squeeze things together really tightly. Vice used to hold things together. 
This screw gauge or micrometer is used to measure very small distances with accuracy. It takes a lot of circular motion to get a very small amount of linear motion. These drill bits are also like a screw. Only difference is that they are grooved. This enables material to come up while hole is made. Bolts are screws with flat tip. Bolts have many threads that are close together. A nut holds the bolt in place. A nut also has threads inside it. We have to turn nuts many times to join parts. Nut and bolt is used to fix wooden and metal parts together. Activity Archimedes screw is used for transferring water from a lower level to higher level. It consists of a screw inside a hollow pipe. The screw is usually turned by windmill, manual labor, cattle or by modern means such as motor. We will build an Archimedes screw of a different kind. We will take plastic tube and a round PVC pipe. Let us wrap this plastic tube around the pipe. This end is tied with wire while this one with a sticky tape. This container represents the lake at the bottom of the hill. Let's fill it with water. With colored water, we can see how it moves up the tube. This container is at a height. We will use an Archimedes screw-like mechanism to fill the upper container. As I dip the tube in the water and turn the tube around, some water enters the tube and settles at the bottom of the first turn. As I continue to rotate the tube, water moves up and the tube as it is pushed by water entering the tube. Finally, it comes out at the other end and the upper container has some water. How can you increase the rate at which water is pumped into the top container? You can move it faster or use the bigger tube. You can build a model of a screw with the help of A4 paper, thread and some card sheet. Do try this for different variations. Summary Screw is a modification of the inclined plane. Screws are everywhere around us. They are used to lift things up, fix things in place securely, as well as make holes. Find out places around your house where screws are used. Challenge these two screws have the same length but different threads. Which one will be quicker to fix? Which one will be easier to fix?